All right, it is time for our uh, Brownells Bullet Points, brought to you by our good friends at Brownells. All right, bing, bang, boom. One of the things that we uh, have featured and discussed and talked about uh, on Brownells' website, if you go all the way over to the right-hand side, it says emergency and survival gear. And we have talked about that uh, at length for going on years and years now. You say, well, I mean, that's that's over now, right? I mean, we already talked about it. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Everything is, is hunky-dory. Everything's cool, copacetic, right? I don't know. Is it? Is it? Uh, something uh, was actually very cool and very interesting that I discovered actually just yesterday was that the state of Utah is rather than to try and convince people to just be a good minion of the state and, uh, you know, uh, they actually want people, individuals, to take care of themselves and their own families and their own communities. And they have, well, they've set up a website with a checklist, and it's called beready.utah.gov. But if you just put in Be Ready Utah into your favorite search engine, it'll take you there. Jared's there right now. And, Jared, give us some of the highlights. Yeah, I'm just looking at this. It's actually, I think I mentioned this a couple of years ago on show but this right here be ready community there's a bunch of resources here that help you make a plan you can get a kit from them you can be informed and get involved they have what's called private sector preparedness councils now if you're not from utah you can still use this framework yeah for your local community it doesn't have to be here now if you are in utah there are actually resources available to you from the state says to request a resource or presentation contact the state citizen corps coordinator at 801-538-3400 they will help you prepare your community and there's actually a really good starting place here if you haven't already started with your community and you're looking to get people involved there's this thing called an extreme event game it says the state owns one ready to go game set that you can borrow and facilitate yourself or request a facilitator to do it for you for free it teaches the necessity of all community partners working together to recover from disaster and gives the why individual preparedness is so important and, and then that gives you like to go check it out it's designed to last one hour and it's for 12 to 48 adults or teens so if you can get your neighborhood together for one hour with 12 to 48 adults or teens then you can uh, play this game and i think that's a great way to i'm actually going to implement this i'm going to see how it works and i will let you know in the coming weeks but that's a fantastic um, resource that's available here and in addition to that there is i'm hitting puberty again there's a be ready community conversation that's available for you to look at whole community coalitions and citizen cores um community preparedness volunteer programs so if you are already prepared yourself and you want to help your community get prepared there's a volunteer program that you can actually be part of be ready community recognition program if you want to be if you want those accolades to be recognized there you go if that's if that's what you really need in your life some accolades uh one one thing they have if you scroll down it, it has it says 12 areas of preparation and it, uh, this say 12 points for individual family and computer is that what you're talking about oh uh, no what are you on see this is what i'm on right here so yeah that's where i am Yep, that's where you are. So, yeah, you go down here, and it says 12 areas of preparation. I don't know. Why does yours look different than mine? I don't know. That's interesting. Are, are you gov? Yeah. That's weird. There yeah, right there. Exactly. Ah. So if you're looking for a checklist, uh, shelter, clothing, water, food, hygiene and sanitation, lights and power, first aid, communication tools, safety and security, tools and personal items, cooking, important documents, and transportation. So uh, if you, you've got that or if you're interested in that or, uh, or maybe you're thinking, uh, oh, it says, oops, you blew up the Internet. I blew up the Internet. Oh, that's funny. 
I went to the safety and security one, and it says, you blew up the internet. Oh, the okay. page is no longer here. I went or, to shelter, clothing, and fire, and it is here. There are videos, there are downloads, and there are links. Or this it is, never existed in the first place. Yeah, that could be it. It's, uh, this is actually a very in-depth video. I'm proud of Utah. Yeah. Well, they they need to they need to uh, get on their site and and uh, unfornicate themselves because the cooking one says you blew up the internet too. <laughs> so apparently, of the twelve preparedness areas, safety, security, and cooking are not that important. <laughs> or they didn't have anybody. They didn't have anyone to contribute. Maybe they didn't have anyone to contribute. I don't know. They just didn't look in the right spot. They didn't look in the right place. I don't know. So, uh, but. It's never a bad idea to be self-sufficient. It is never a bad idea to know who your neighbors are. It is never a bad idea to work with your neighbors. Uh, those, those things are never bad ideas. And you should you want to know who your neighbors are before the crisis. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Uh, before there's a, a national crisis or a local crisis or a hurricane or a flood or a tornado or whatever, you should probably be prepared before, not after. Because uh, there, there's all there are always going to be the last minute people. They're the people, and we we saw this in you know on the uh, the Gulf Coast with hurricanes. The the hurricane is less than 24 hours from landfall, and where are people? piled up inside of Kroger, piled up inside of Walmart. That's not where you want to be. Uh, if the hurricane is less than 24 hours away, you don't want to be piled up with all the other normies or Ugmos uh, inside of a Walmart fighting over the last candle or fighting over the last pack of batteries or whatever. No, uh, that is a bad idea. So what you need to do and what you should be doing is you should be uh, on this right now this very second now we at student of the gun in case you didn't know it in case you weren't aware of it you say what well well what have you ever done mr smart guy to to help people out mm, i only wrote about a million books no i didn't write that many books but i've written a few and one of them is called the patriot fire team manual and it's all about working with your friends and neighbors uh, and communicating with them and being on the same sheet of music and making sure that you and your friends and neighbors uh, are all prepared. We've got different levels of preparedness. Uh, we ha talk about, in that book, we talk about how to uh, talk to your family, how to get the wives and kids involved, and so on and so forth. And because you guys requested it, because you were so excited about it, uh, we did the Patriot Fire Team Manual. Then we did the Patriot Fire Team Equipment Guide because you guys were like, yeah, but I want, you know, I want to talk about hardware. I want to talk about guns. So uh, the Equipment Guide is very hardware-centric. We, we focused on hardware very, very deliberately. And then book three in the three-part series is called the Mission Planner. Uh, this is when you got to engage that gray matter between your ears uh, because you need more than just stuff. You need intelligence, you need communication, you need leadership, you need people to do the right things. Uh, it's not enough to just go buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's It's good to own stuff, but you need way more than that. And in the mission planner, we talk about talents. Everybody has something to offer. Patrol tactics, intelligence gathering, mission planning, night operations, threat assessment, and professional leadership, as well as a lot of other stuff. So. That is there for you. Those resources are for there for you if you go to shopsotg.com. That is shopsotg.com. You can get the books. Is that we have those books in stock, Zach? I believe that we do indeed have every single book that we are supposed to be selling in stock right now, up to and including, for the first time ever available to the public, we have the five strategies for, that could save your life book available to you, the standard common man, or whatever, what's the phrase, the common man, the, 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 ev uh, the everyman. The normie, the common person. You, yes, the, the everyman, everyman listening to yes, us right. for the first time ever. So congratulations to Utah for uh, taking the uh, time to put that together and for actually encouraging people to 
take care of themselves and not just look to the government as their as their daddy who's supposed to solve all their problems for them because not only are they incapable they are the the government is the worst at solving problems not the best <laughs> 